During my four years at Seton Hall, I've, I've had the wonderful opportunity to be a part of the honors program on campus. I've been able to participate and have leadership positions with a number of different student clubs and organizations ranging from anything from a cultural organization such as Slava Club to being the executive marketing director for an independently held TED conference which was held here on campus. I've also had the wonderful opportunity to study abroad in three different countries through two different programs. Um, I spent a summer in Peru and Mexico and then a semester in Spain. And I've been able to simultaneously work on my professional development skills and intern with five different organizations, four of which have been in New York City and one of which has been on campus. And to top it all off, I've been able to assist a professor through the Whitehead School of Diplomacy and International Relations through a um, political science research um, research project, which afforded me the opportunity to, ch to travel to Chicago to present at the National Science Foundation Conference. During my month spent in Cusco, Peru, I had the really humbling privilege of being able to work on a development project in the surrounding rural Pueblo of Rashi. And it was really during the, my time um, on the weekends that we took to volunteer with them to assist them in digging an irrigation ditch and a reservoir to provide them with clean water that I realized that this was really the direction that I wanted my career to head into. That this was the full definition of what a development career would be, is to be able to have this opportunity to set up projects to send people to talk with individuals and understand what they really needed for the communities and what would help them to become self-sustainable and to provide a better, better way of life. Through the research project that Dr. Ed Martin Edwards has been conducting through the Diplomacy School on IMF transparency, I had the really amazing opportunity to, to travel with another Seton Hall undergraduate student to a political science conference in Chicago. It was, it was pretty amazing to be able to present to a room full of people being an undergraduate. At that time, I was a junior in college while everybody around me was writing their dissertations and were past, past even graduate school and their studies and their research. I would definitely say that the faculty and professors on campus overexert themselves at times and the amount of support and enthusiasm that they have for their classes as well as their subjects. I can easily name off the Slavic department on campus in regards to a professor that stays up until four o'clock in the morning meticulously grading Russian essays as well as making cheesecake to bring to class and just to serve the students and keep them enthused and involved in the classroom. For me, as a personal experience with Professor Kuchta, she was the first one to remember my name when I came in, when I came to Seton Hall before I even decided I was actually going to come here and she remembered everything down to my dog's name. I came with my dad and he kept on saying how this was the perfect place for me and that I had to come here. And, and he said, you know, Daria, if you really want to go into politics and diplomacy, then you need to go someplace that's going to push you and that you're going to be able to meet people from all around the world. And you can't really get that going to just a school in the middle of nowhere. You have to go to a school that is close to a big city. And why not move to one of the biggest and greatest cities in the world, like New York? Through Seton Hall's location, I've been able to really build on my undergraduate experience, which in comparison to all of my friends at other universities, I definitely have a leg up. Um, through the different professional development opportunities, through my multiple nonprofit internships that I've held in New York City, it definitely sets me apart by not only having an academic base and understanding of my major, but also being able to enact the skills that I learned from class in a real life situation. Seton Hall is definitely a university that is going to push you to every limitation. There are opportunities that are being presented to you every day that introduce you to new people and new opportunities. And if you t choose to take on every opportunity that's presented to you, it can really just skyrocket you into the direction that you want to go into. If I was to meet myself four years ago to, in comparison to who I am now, Daria at 17 is a completely different individual. I think it's hard to put into words what kind of personal transformation that has been over the course of four years, but it has everything to do with personal image and understanding of what I want to do to my daily interactions with people, to my self-esteem, to my personal goal of like what I want to do with my life. I love Seton Hall because this is where I became myself. Seton Hall is where I became Daria. It's where I met my best friends. It's where I had my, it's where I had my hardest struggles and it's where I overcame them. It's truly been a journey.